Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, it's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Today I'm coming to share with you those beautiful Valentine's boxes. Uh, I have, I will have link for this download down below uh, in the description box. They do have kind of similar design, but not exactly same. Uh, here we've got hooks and kisses, a love and wishes to from, and here is a kind of similar. Just here, be my Valentine and to from. There are also two labels or images here, love definition and a true love definition, kind of funny way. Uh, you can glue, you can cut one and then glue images from that other one inside to make it a little bit stronger. Or maybe you want to use some uh, designer papers. You can use 12 by 12 sheet, which is one side printed, cut it to the size of printer paper, that A4, just cut this strip out of the 12 by 12, and you can print on this side, so then you will have decorated inside of that box as well. So I'm gonna show you how I put it together, I'm gonna... Use this on the top and I will use that other print inside to make it a little bit more stronger because here I used 160 or 200 grammage paper and it's not too strong, better it's 250 or 300 grammage cardstock which will be nice and strong for boxes. So I'm gonna cut out the box, you will see all those lines you should cut. here all those white pieces and here and those small spaces here as well that will be folds here and I lost it these small pieces and on opposite side as well similar pieces on opposite side so here and those two small on the end those notches and here and here Then take a ruler and with ruler and some um, embossing tool, you can use uh, this side, uh, this side of your scissors, and just score those lines. You will see those lines here, where uh, where you should score, and here. So just use some tool which will help you then. To follow those folds, so first is here on that top, and then here are two. One is for a lip, and that other one, it's all the way from the side to the side. Then here, and here, here you will see very dark uh, black line, so take some knife and ruler and cut into that line, it will be entry for this top, it will be just right here, entry for that top to close that box. For this step so take a ruler and some knife and cut inside of this black line 
to make M3. And then that rest, just score with the tool you are using. You can use also a kitchen knife with that uh, not sharp side. And here will be the last one. Then fold all these score lines. That scoring with some tool will help you now to fold it much more easily without stress at all. So fold all these lines. Have I scored it here? I have. Good. Here are two. One is here for the lid. And then is this longer one, including those sides. And of course, stop. So once you have all folded, Uh, if you want to have that uh, other, other design inside, so what I did here from that other design, I have cut just this picture. So I have cut this one from that uh, other image and from this part I cut next to those score lines here and here and then uh, those two pieces uh, I cut where is that score line and then I just measured a uh, how far I can go and I think uh, I can't go with this paper you know behind this second fold so what I see I should cut it where is this red line so I'm gonna cut it there to the size which I can fit to my paper to my box so this will be like my extra pieces I'm gonna glue this one straight away inside on the bottom of that box you don't have to do this but uh, because I'm using kind of fragile paper this will make it a little bit stronger not fragile not too strong I think that 200 grammage will be perfect a little bit up oh come on Evie this way okay so like this and before I will glue this one, I want to have these inside. For gluing that box together, I'm going to use hot glue gun because <laughs> uh, I think it's much more faster. And my glue in this, it, we've got kind of cold in our home. Not sure why we do have heating on, on the highest level. But you know, this house, it's very wet. So my glue it somehow doesn't glue yet now. Or it does, but too slow way. So that's why, that's why I am using now hot glue gun to make it faster. So glue these inside. And now I can take this piece. I think I'm going to measure it. It will be good if I will score it where here it's fold. No, no, I can score it once it's glued. So I'm going to put this. I'm going to glue it inside and then I will score it once it's dry on that original score line here. So I'm going to glue this. 
inside of my box. And I'm gonna glue here those two pieces together. So I'm gonna put glue on the middle and put there this last one over it. I'm gonna do same on that opposite side. Put the glue on the middle and put this over it. Glue it together like this. And now I'm gonna fold it inside. Put the glue here on that other part and glue this on it. And it's holding straight away because it's hot glue pun. And that glue it's much more faster than my normal glue. And again I'm gonna do same here. Put a glue and put it together. Now this it's hopefully dry. So I'm gonna take my scoring tool again. I will need bigger ruler. I'm gonna put that ruler from the side to the side here and just to score. It will help with that folding. And close the box. So I've got my boxes done. So if you do have some someone who you who you would like to send some letter, this is perfect size for uh, letter sending. It's not too big, so it can fit to large envelope. Uh, and I think the normal way large envelope with uh, some small weight it doesn't cost that much you can put inside chocolates you can put i have to glue it properly <laughs> you can put inside coffee or small jewelry you know something and send it to your loved ones so these are my boxes link will be down below i hope you all will have beautiful Valentine's Day. It's not here yet, but it's coming. And hopefully this crazy stuff, this COVID will be already somehow uh, much better. So have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. And I hope I will see you soon. Bye.